Hi and welcome back. Let's talk about psoriasis. If you or a loved one suffer from psoriasis, then you know it can be literally devastating to your social and personal life if it gets out of hand. Um, I've had patients over the last decade who have had severe, severe psoriasis when they first came to see me, and it's, it's just terrible. It's a terrible disease to have. Um, most of my psoriatic patients, when they find out that they can have some control over their psoriasis, they're very happy about that. So what I'm going to talk to you about today is how you can take control of your psoriasis. And you'll always have the predisposition to have it, but you can make it so much better without slathering expensive creams and gels on your top of your skin, and also without taking expensive medications that dumb down your immune system and put you at risk of serious infection. But first, take a moment, please, and subscribe. Subscribe. Hit the little button. I think it's right there. It won't kill you just to click that button so that I can share this word with other people. Okay, now let's talk about psoriasis. Now, I've, in other skin videos, I use the house or the barn analogy. And let me go through that quickly just so we're on the same page. If I decided to build a, a barn on my farm and I used the shoddiest, crappiest, cheapest materials I could find. And then a few years later, my barn started having holes in the roof and started to fall in. Would we blame it on the sun shining on my barn? Is that what made the barn get holes in it? Or maybe we would go to a barn doctor and we would say, doctor, my barn, it's only a few years old and there's holes in it and it's falling apart. What should I do? And the doctor, the barn doctor would whip out his barn doctor prescription pad and he would write a prescription for a very, very expensive paint that you would paint on the surface of your barn once or twice a day. And he would tell you that's going to make your barn, it'll, it'll close those holes up and it'll make your barn stronger. It does, I mean, any farmers out there, does that sound like a good plan to fix your barn? I don't, I don't think so. I certainly wouldn't pay for that expensive paint. Or he might say, you know, let me, let me uh, write you a, a barn doctor prescription for this expensive stain or varnish, and you'll put it on every day or once a week or anything like that, and that's going to make your barn better. That's, that's a silly analogy. I don't have to go any further for you to understand. That's dumb. That's never going to make your barn stronger. It's never going to make the holes heal up and go away. That's not how you fix a barn. So your barn, in order for it to last for years and years and be beautiful, you have to build it with the right materials to start with, right? Now let's move from the barn to your skin. Did you know that your skin completely replaces itself every six to eight weeks? So eight weeks from today, you'll have an entirely new skin with completely new skin cells. None of the old cells will still be there. They'll all be gone. Your body will have harvested them, broke them apart, got the parts out to use other places, and those skin cells are gone. So every two months, basically, you have an entire new skin. So we have to think, okay, so if slathering expensive creams and gels and lotions on our skin, that's silly because really you're only just spreading those on the dead skin cells on the very top, the stratum corneum. That's not going to help anything. Those cells are already dead or about to die. And all of the skin cells are going to be replaced within six to eight weeks. So how does it make any sense to pay hundreds of dollars for a lotion you're going to spread on your skin? It doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? What you'd rather do is you'd rather build your skin out of the right materials to start with. You'd rather have, that, have the right vitamins on board and you don't want any poisons on board and you don't want any inflammatory toxins on board, okay? And that's the three main th ways to make your skin better is to feed your body the things that it needs to build good, healthy skin to start with. That's number one. Number two, you want to take the right vitamins so that you have the right biochemical processes going on in your skin. That's number two. And then number three, you don't want to put any toxins in your body because a lot of times they'll come out or express themselves through problems in the skin. So if slathering on expensive medication. That's, that's silly. We've established that. But now there's this other class of medications for psoriasis that if you have psoriasis or you have a family member with psoriasis, I'm sure you know all about them. They're super expensive and they actually lower your immune system's ability to fight infection. So it basically makes your immune system blind or dumb, different analogies of ways of looking at it. It's actually much more complicated than that, but, but it increases your risk of developing other infections. If you could control your psoriasis in a more natural way, 
Wouldn't you like to not spend all that money to lower your immune system's ability to protect you? I would. So here's the three things that you need to do <clears throat> to get your psoriasis better. And I'm not saying you're going to cure your psoriasis because you, you have a genetic predisposition to, towards psoriasis. So you may always have a little patch here or there, or you may completely clear and then have a little patch come back from time to time. But if you follow these guidelines closely, you're going to be so happy with the improvement you have in your psoriasis. Number one, you have to eat the right diet. And in my 10 years of practice, what I have found that works for, for psoriatic patients is the keto diet, ketogenic diet, or the paleo diet, with the, and the paleo diet being very heavy in good fats, okay? You want lots of medium chain triglycerides, you want lots of coconut oil, you want lots of real grass-fed butter, your, your skin needs that. You need that fat to build good skin. You need protein to build good skin. I tell patients in the office every day, there is no such thing as an essential sugar. There is no such thing as an essential starch or an essential carbohydrate. If you never ate another sugar or starch, your skin would be great. It wouldn't hurt it and would probably help it. But there are essential fats that you must have or you'll die as an organism, but you'll also have bad skin until you die. There are essential amino acids, which make up proteins that you have to have or you will die and you'll have bad skin before you die. You have to have fats, you have to have proteins in order to build the kind of skin you're looking for, okay? Number two is vitamin D. I have had patients who were on multiple hundreds of dollars a month worth of uh, psoriasis medications, both topical and uh, to take by mouth and to take by injection or infusion, and we're able to stop those medications by either taking five or 10,000 units of vitamin D3 a day. And a lot of doctors will shake their heads and they'll get that worried look about you taking that much vitamin D. But in my office, I always check a vitamin D 25 level to make sure that your vitamin D level is not getting too high. Uh, if your doctor is willing to do that with you, then that's a very safe way. And, and I've seen 80, 90% clearance by just taking five or 10,000 units of vitamin D a day. The third thing is you've got to stop putting toxins in your body because that's going to inflame your gut, that's going to inflame your skin, neither of which you want, okay? An inflamed gut for some people will result in inflamed joints or an inflamed uh, brain or inflamed skin. And for you, it's your skin, it's your psoriasis. If you smoke or use tobacco in any form, you have to stop that. That is making your psoriasis worse. It's costing you money. It's costing you health. I'm not saying stop today, but you need to start some sort of three-month wean-down process or, or do something. You have to get that toxin out of your body. The same goes for wheat, liquid dairy, soy, corn. All of these things are inflammatory in nature. They inflame your gut, which winds up for you inflaming your skin. You have to stop the toxins, okay? Now, if you've enjoyed this video, please take a minute and share it on your social media. You have friends and relatives out there who are suffering from psoriasis and other diseases of the skin just like it. You could change their life by sharing this video. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you next time.